Heavenly Father, we come in your presence because there are people that have financial needs today. And we know that you are able and we know that you are willing to meet those needs. You told us in the word, Lord God, that the sparrow, they want for nothing. That we are much more valuable than they are. And, and you will take care of us even better than you take care of them. So we believe that. We trust that you care about our concerns and that you're willing to hear our concerns. Um, Father, we do our part. We will not come um, bring our gifts to you or pray to you and ask you for things when we have unforgiveness in our hearts. You said not to do that. You said to lay your gift at the altar get that stuff straight and then come to me so we do that father we are willing we have a willing heart to forgive those that have have harmed us or done wrong to us we forgive them and we ask you to forgive us for holding unforgiveness we don't want anything to stand in our way of you hearing and meeting our need today so father god we know that there are many needs that we're lifting up before you we're asking you lord god for supernatural um, help in some of these situations. Lord, we're asking you for finances in some of these situations. We're asking you for raises, for increases in, in, in positions, more hours at work for some people. Father God, we ask you in the name of Jesus to help with tuition bills. We ask you, Lord, to help with utility bills. Lord, some of these people need you to stay off evictions. Heavenly Father, there are hospital bills that have mounted up. We're asking you to move. Move the mountain of lack out of our way. We speak to the mountain of lack and we tell you to move out of our way. We submit ourselves to the word. You said resist the devil and to submit ourselves to you. Lord, we stand on your word right now. We know that you hear. We know that you care and we are not wavering. We know that the miracles that you've done in the word, you pay taxes out of a fish's mouth. We know about the loaves of bread. We know that you're able to move. So Lord, we thank you for your mercy. Some of us, Lord God, have not been good stewards of the monies that you have given us. So Lord, we repent of that. There have been times when you told us not to spend and we did it. You told us to slow down on our spending and we did the opposite. So Father, we ask you for mercy. You said the throne of grace is there for mercy, for help when we need it. So Lord, we ask you to forgive us for some of the things that we've done to put ourselves in these situations, but we still need your help. I give you all the praise and glory right now, Father, for moving on our behalf. We thank you. We ask you for favor with men. Lord, some of the landlords, we ask you to give us favor. Lord, some of the people, Lord, that want to uh, repossess cars, we ask you for favor and compassion. Oh, Father God, speak to bosses, to institutions, Lord, hospitals, colleges. We ask that you send your ministering spirits, the angels ahead of us, to work these situations out in our favor. We will not be like the children of Israel, Father, where they complained and they mumbled each time they came up against an obstacle. We are not going to do that. We are going to stand and trust you. We are going to stand knowing that you're willing to answer, knowing that you hear. And we know that you have brought us out of situations before in the past. And we know that you are going to bring us out of this situation. So we stand in a position of praise. We stand in a position of trust and worship. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.